Hi there. In this video, I just want to show you how contingent values work. Um, works. It's um, it's quite straightforward, but there is a, there, there are steps to take to make it work. F first of all, what are they? What are contingent values? Well, it's literally as it sounds in the name. It's it's where a value in one field is contingent on the value in another. Um, so something's been selected. Um, and then that will impact on what the options will be in another field. So what I'll do is just go ahead and do it um, because that will um, certainly clarify things. <clears throat> so contingent values need domains. That's, that's where you have to um, start off. So create your domains. If I go into this table here, I've got this um, very, very cunningly named layer, <laughs> Leicester pubs for contingent. Um, it was for my demo. Um, so as you can see, this is the data here. This is some sort of public um, data of, of public houses, of pubs. I use this a lot in my in my tutorials, in my examples. Uh, and what I want to do is sort of put, put a couple of columns on the end about the food, whether they're um, you know hot, cold, veggie, vegan, and takeaway, that sort of thing, snacks. Um, so I want to add that, but I want to have a control over that editing. Um, and because the more you do that sort of thing, the, the, the better uh, quality of your data is at the time of input rather than cleaning up the data later in a you know, sort of post bit of work. Um, so let's make our domains first of all. So um, I've highlighted my layer, I've gone to data and there's domains. So I'll just create ordinary domains. So I'll call this um, sort of food types. Food types. So th this, is, this is all sort of veggie, etc. that sort of thing. Um, it'll just be text coded and let's put a V for veggie. And um, I notice sometimes it doesn't actually come up with the code immediately after but if I sort of click off and back it comes comes to it it's probably something I'm doing wrong and vegan is another option when you press return you definitely get the next line um, let's have a basically for everything for all um, but one of the options actually is just snacks I'm just gonna I could break it up more into sort of veggie snacks and stuff. But I'm just going to leave it snacks. The idea of snacks is that it's um, more of a takeaway thing. You, you, th these three above you kind of sit in so you can get, you know, you can have a table and have veggie food, vegan food, have both meat, everything. Um, but snacks is very specifically something of a takeaway. That's that's the point I'm, I'm sort of making here. So um, let's make another domain. Food service. Um, and this is sort of hot, cold, takeaway sort of thing. Uh, so I'm going to have in this one, I will have um, hot, cold. Um, let's say both. So I've got a B for that. Uh, both hot and cold. And let's have a T for takeaway. Oh, not typing well. Takeaway. So there's more permutations of this, but it's just the point I'm trying to sort of make here about about how the contingent values work. The point is you need some domains, okay? Um, and you really need at least two because we can we can use a lot more. But you need at least two because what we're going to say is based on one value in one domain we're going to offer up choices in the inputting of, uh, that will come from the next but it's based on a sort of lookup table that we create effectively so i'll just save those then i'll save um, but of course i've i've got nothing mapped uh, these domains are not mapped to a field so in the data design i could i could actually have gone straight to add field down here. Um, let's add a new field and let's call this food um we call it food type was it? Yeah food type might as well match it and that's the text 
you, you know it's a text because if I go back to domains, you can see these are both texts. So make sure it's the same um, type, or else it won't work. And don't forget, under domain, choose food types. Yeah, and then we do the next one. Food service, or food service type really. Again, it's text. So if you haven't entered the right type there, if I did short, look what happens when you click on domain. There is no domain to choose from because there's nothing as defined as a short. So let's go to text. And sure enough, the service has appeared. So now those two, two domains are allocated to fields in my table. Let's just save that. So we've now got the sort of baseline, the foundation of making contingent um, values. Um, and like I said, you need at least two domains, otherwise you're not really doing much. Um, okay, so under data, you'll see contingent values. So the, the first idea, actually I had I'd created um, something before, uh, a field group, but I will um, ignore those for the moment. Um, and in fact, if I click on the field groups item up there, I can click on what I did before and just delete. Yep, and save. So I've just deleted a field group I'd, I'd left in there accidentally. So you can see how to d d delete. So there's now no field groups, there's nothing. So you can click, you can go back to this one field groups, or you can click here, click to add new field group. That's the first thing you've got to do with contingency, you, contingent values. You need a field group. So I click on that. I'm going to add a new field group, and like, I call it pub definition before. So same name, it's not that meaningful, but it can be called anything, call it anything. It's, it is useful to name them. By default, it's field underscore group, but you know, name them. And then you add the fields. Now, what you're doing here is adding the fields that play a part in your contingency um, rules and the values. I, I've only got two domains going there on food type and food service. So they're the only two I'm interested in. However, I could have subtypes going on and uh, or other domains so i could have more um, fields um, working in this so it could be a lot more complicated uh, but i'm just going to use these two so i press add and there they are food type and food service restrictive okay so so that means that the user is going to be forced to choose from these they've, they've, they've got it's got to come from the list you can't just type something in um, so, so by default restrict is, is on. Press OK. So now it's saying, OK, so what are the values? How does it work? Well, this is quite straightforward. What you're saying is if the food type is veggie, it can be, we could say it's actually any value. But I'm going to explicitly say, I'm going to make out there's actually no takeaway. So it can be hot and oh course I could veggie I can just do both hot and cold because I put a value there obviously um, so and then vegan is also both hot and cold um, and also um, everything is hot and cold uh, and actually we could say you know what if uh, if they do um, if it is just a veggie place they do actually take away as well um, for whatever reason. This is just an example. The point being, if someone selects veggie, they're going to have the option of either both hot and cold, and um, or, or they could choose to take takeaway. Um, and then um, snacks is takeaway only. That's really what I wanted to show you there. So you see how I've got this sort of, these rules going on here. Let's just save that. And then let's, let's just see how that sort of operates. Now, if we edit on the map, um, you know, back here, go to edit mode and click and point and stuff, we'll get what we'd expect, you know, the point uh, dropping. But the, the, the thing to do here is that um, um, you um, can see the fields. So if you take this row here at the top, if I now change to click on food type, look what it comes up with. It comes up with my domains. Notice how it's gone red in food service. I was expecting something to happen there. So if I go, uh, let's say snacks, look how it defaults 
to take away straight away is the only option there that's contingent value in operation what if I click on show all and select cold it's gone red because that is not applicable you won't be able to save that if I go to data um, if, if I yeah try and uh, save that well sorry I've got to edit and save well it's not letting me it's just not there um, it's it's not yeah there we go update road failed it's not you can't have that as red so I've got to choose something that's valid so I go to snacks yep and by default it's totally that's valid let's go to veggie because we have two options there don't we both hot and cold and takeaway so that's that now so that the, the, that's valid so can we easily just change these these sort of values yeah absolutely what we could say is you know you know we've got these see you've got contingency values up the contingent values up here what what we can do is under the um, if we, we can now save obviously um, so those edits are now saved um, and, and, and record it to the table but in back in um, contingent values I could say snacks can also be cold save and now watch what happens I go to snacks and immediately it comes up with cold and takeaway so it's immediately updated and given us those um, options of course it does work the other way around if I selected takeaway here and then click on food type it's only giving you veggie and snacks because it's only veggie and snacks that um, are um, that, that you know can, can be um, takeaway and um, snacks is takeaway as well and I've clicked on takeaway there so it does work the the other way around it's uh, definitely forcing me to add something there so you know it work, works the works the other way around one thing um, one last point really is about retiring um, rules um, the contingent values so let's say on this record snacks but let's change it to cold okay so that says uh, snacks and cold so I've made that change let me now save it so that's now saved and um, I'm going to select this one and say actually from now on one of the options has been removed the cold one is not possible so I'm going to retire the value and retiring does exactly that it retires it it doesn't delete it doesn't delete it from the data so I press save because I've made a change and you can see the table you see how cold is still a value but if I go to enter a new record here and click on snacks takeaway is the only one that appears but cold as a value still exists in there it doesn't delete it from the table so to remove something you're actually retiring it um, rather than deleting Anyway, there you go. I hope you find that all, all useful. Thank you.